Okay guys, today we are doing the fuel lines on an EVZ 8001 backpack blower. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, remove these two fuel lines. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and spray off with some brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner. It's just around that grommet, just so no dirt falls in. Use a flathead screwdriver and then you're going to get underneath it and pry it up. It takes two hands. Now uh, we're going to remove this rest of this from this and we're going to reuse this grommet on this one. Um, I'll see if I can get you uh, in the description below I'll put grommets, fuel lines, filters, uh, brand new carburetor, anything I can find for this that you might need. Make sure all that dirt's off there. There we go. Alright, hold on. Cut the fuel line off to a point and stab it through one of the holes of the grommet. Pull it through about six inches and then put a new filter on the end. Cut off approximately how much fuel line you'll need. Cut it off. Fuel line to a point again. Put it through the other hole. It only has to just go through, not very far at all. You're going to cut it off approximately the same as the other one, but cut it a little bit longer just so you know which one it is. All right, so the longer one has no filter on it. The shorter one has a filter on it. All right, we're going to stick this, try to get the curve to go in towards the tank, towards this side of the tank. Push the back half of the grommet in. And then the other side, you're going to force in with a flathead screwdriver. Just work your way around slowly until you get it all in. Okay, again, the longer one has no filter. So we're going to put the longer one on this nipple right here. Just force it on with a pair of needle nose pliers or whatever. And then the shorter one will go on this nipple back here. So the nipple closest to the primer ball is the one that takes the filter. Then prime it up, make sure everything's working properly. And then in theory, you're ready to go. Unfortunately, this one needs a new carburetor as well. I'll have to order that. I'll put that in the description below. But that's how you do the fuel lines. If this help you in any way, shape, or form, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Uh, any of the parts will be in the description below. Today's t-shirt will also be in the description below. If you want me to uh, advertise for you, mail me in one of your shirts. I'll be more than happy to do some advertising.